So now for something better, I'm going to do a couple other things here. I'm going to go back to my client access right here, pop three, and I'm going to take the binding. I'm going to go back to the default settings of secure login, set apply, click OK, and um, then for the hub transport on the default here, the receiver connector properties, I'll take the um, authentication, I'll put back basic authentication only after starting TLS, right, that looks good. Permission groups, I'll uncheck anonymous users, no more anonymous users, so we'll get that. So that's essentially a higher le level of security. I'm going to um, restart POP3 so that those settings are in effect, okay? And actually, what I'm going to probably do is, and I might even try this. Let's try this. This will be good. I'll double click on POP3 and set it back to manual, and I'll stop the service. I'll hit apply and click OK. I'll do the same thing for um, IMAP4, okay, um, apply, stop the service, click OK. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at something else. I'm going to go down here, I'll go to client access, and I'll look at my Outlook web app. And this is going to be webmail. OWA Outlook Web Application and I'll double click on that and it shows that my external URL is mail.dansgames.com forward slash OWA. Now it's going to need HTTPS so on your firewall you're going to need to open up HTTPS and make sure that that's allowed through right so that's that's key. So now we'll see if we can reach this from outside okay and we'll see if we can do that alright so uh, okay I've got a browser here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to see if my webmail application works that I've set up on dansgames.com so all I'm gonna do is go here and type in mail.dansgames.com forward slash OWA you can see I have it here already in um, memory here um, it's HTTPS protocol so it has to say that and I'll just hit enter and we'll see if it resolves okay sure enough it reached it so here's the Outlook web application so I should be able to type in my username Tracy that I set up and my password and sign in the first time you sign in you're gonna have to um, set your default language setting and your time zone but we'll see here if this works okay and it looks like it works so I've already sent a few emails you can see from my sent items I have a few emails sent but let's let's run a few tests just to be sure one more time so we'll say new and we'll we're getting a certificate error the certificates invalid because we're using uh, the built-in certificate that comes with the exchange server I haven't purchased a certificate officially so but that's fine and we'll say we'll call this hello test and we'll type in hello and we'll hit send and we're trying to send to ourselves. and there you can see that we've picked up the email and so the emails worked we can click on it and there it is all right. We can also um, test to make sure we can send to other users. So I could send to myself here. Um, hello from Dan's Games and email test, and we'll see if this gets bounced back. It's to an outside mail server, and sure enough, if you look in your sent items, it's in there. So it looks like it works. So it looks like we've got uh, webmail working on our Exchange mail server, and it's live.